Sorry, this is nothing to sneeze that was, over. That was worth the sneeze. It's nothing to sneeze over. We got to get serious here, baby. All right. <clears throat> oh, tell me if we're live on Facebook, beautiful, would you? Yeah. On your phone, maybe. On the fan page? Or the on the fan show? page, yeah. The Pride Network or fan page. All right. So we are yep. we're live that. there. Oh, and there is everybody. Okay, so good. Jen Desatels is coming in. Tyler Johnson's coming in. Julie Zaroth. It is so weird. Tyler, have you ever seen Jennifer? Hi, Jennifer. There we go. Whoa, there we go. Wait, hang on. Let me toggle back. Am I pushing you out of the way, beautiful? Everybody is, um, there we go. Look at you. Nice house. Nice house, Millie. It looks really warm and Seattle-ish. <laughs> Thanks. It's not that warm. But... Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, we have to add. Everybody is an admin. Wow. I mean, we have to add everybody to uh, to join us. It's really weird. We've never had that. I don't know if this is a new feature that they're that they have. Alicia, who do you got there? Is that a picture? Are you live or is that a picture? You're just really st st staying still right now. Okay. Uh, someone did that to me earlier. They were so still, and I couldn't tell if it was a picture. Like Jennifer's doing to me right now. She's posing. Is Jennifer doing one of these? She's, yeah, she's like this. She's like, like, like she's like in her model too. pose right now, even though I know she's live. How does she do that? And Jen does the tells, my girl, my fit mom tribe girl. Hey, y'all don't have to be on video, especially if you're on the potty. But if you are, <laughs> if you are like Tyler, he's like chilling, ready for snooze night. Yeah, Jen, I don't really get in here. Care. And, and oh my gosh, and then Wendy and her, just the whole life going on behind her. And the problem know. is <laughs> that is no problem. Hey, you know what I would do? You know what I would do? Seriously, Jen, you know, check. Okay, just real quick, Wendy. As we're getting started here, we got one minute. We're gonna get going. I would test taking that backdrop, whatever you're trying to hide behind there, your husband's desk, maybe, and see if what that looks like right behind your desk as your backdrop. Another time. Yeah, we've thought about that. That sucker's heavy. Okay, me and Tyler will come over. <laughs> oh, oh, back to you. <laughs> come on up. What's that? Okay, admit, admit. Oh, I got a bunch of people yeah. that want to be admitted. Hang on, hang on. Admit all. Just click admit. Oh, admit all. There we go. Bam. We're going to have to do that throughout the whole thing. Yes, Heather's there. Hey, Good. Heather. Hey, wait, who's that with Jennifer? I don't think we ever met mini, mini Jennifer. Who is that? Uh, your your mic's not working, Jen, that well. Oh, you're on mute. That's what it is. Alicia Van. Here we go. And he won't stay in the video, but Casey, I got Casey her. was. Good. All right, we're gonna go ahead. Let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and get rock and roll. We're about three minutes in, and um, just want to say hi, everybody. We've got a packed out Zoom with Ben and oh, we even got Stephanie Duran. What? Stephanie Odin's in the house. We have Alicia and uh, so many amazing, amazing friends and, and amazing people that we have here. And a lot, I know a lot of you are watching the replay of this. Many of you are, are on Facebook Live as well through the, through the Priority Networker page. By the way, for those of you that maybe are here for the first time, you referred or dragged by a friend. My name is Tom and this is my beautiful wife. I'm Kim. This is Kim. We're really happy you're here. We're really happy you're here. We've been married for 22 years and we've been in this crazy, amazing industry that you are involved with for a million years as well, for a bunch of, a whole bunch of years. But what, what I want to share tonight is we are going to do a, a quick, um, let me go ahead and mute everybody because I know someone uh -huh. right now and I can hear it. Hang on one sec. Going to mute all and then we'll bring the speakers up individually. So mute and okay, there we go. So it's hopefully nice and quiet. Were you gonna say something? No. Okay, because you look pretty. All right, so uh, first off, I wanna say congratulations and I miss you all already. I don't know if you feel that way, but it's, you know, the number one thing about events is I was on the phone with Alicia earlier and she's been a client of mine and I didn't even know this. Alicia, she's like, you know how much money I've given you for coaching, Tom, since 2016? And thanks, baby. And and I didn't know her that well. I mean, I've been on calls with her, 
but I feel like I know her now be, even more intimately because of the events that she's been going to. And particularly this last event, because we had you know, a little bit smaller group of people and we had the opportunity to, to meet each other. So now I see you guys on Zooms like Heather. It's like me and Heather are like brother, sister now, right? And me and Tyler, obviously getting to know Tyler and Jen and of course, Wendy and Millie. And it's just like, we're becoming more, not just friends, but more family. Uh, so anyways, it's just good to see, see everybody there. Uh, the event was... Amazing. And I, I was telling some of this earlier. I had one of the biggest breakthroughs in my entire life at the event uh, this last weekend. And I'll share that with you real quick. My biggest event, my biggest break, my biggest breakthrough as I was preparing for the event, kind of doing the event with some amazing speakers who you're going to hear there, like Tyler and Jen and, and some others. And of course, Josh and Miranda. And but one of the biggest breakthroughs that I had is I want to spend the rest of my life leveraging time significantly and really, really getting to the point of finding out what does it really take for you to grow this industry? Uh, what does it really take for you to grow your team? What does it really take for you to have your breakthrough? And one of the things that I've realized that I've had uh, some, some struggles with lately and some challenges in both Kim and I in building businesses is really doing a lot of things that we shouldn't be doing all day. Okay. Can anybody relate by the way? Like you, you're so, we're so, we're so filled with activity all day and we can easily, our human brains will easily justify how important those activities are. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, and I'm, and speaking my story over and over to myself this weekend and sharing my story over and over made me realize I've gotten back in my comfort zone of just doing a lot of things that are really fun with marketing. A lot of things that are really fun with systems and leveraging a lot of things that really are, that look high value. They look beautiful and pretty, but they really just keep me kind of busy for the future. They keep me busy for that'll, that'll pay off one day type of activity. And I really, I really realized this industry, our industry that we're doing right now is so painfully simple, but because so many of you want this elusive leverage faster than they, you want this marketing or this attraction marketing or this whatever it is and I'm not going to go into all the depths a lot of you are on these rabbit trails that are keeping you busy like crazy thinking that you're that this is the next training marketing system you need or whatever that is and I really want to cut the fat that's the bottom line I'm trying to say is I want to get get rid of the fat of of what's good but not necessary what's good but not what we need right now and I want to spend the next uh, rest of October, the little bit of October, November, December, January. And I want to do whatever it takes for, for those of you to have your absolute biggest breakthrough of your career. And I'm committed to doing whatever it takes by helping with so many amazing leaders that are here and Kim and I to help lead by example, this community of world changers, whatever business that you're in, and really just get to the point of what you need to do to succeed in your business. One of the things that Josh uh, Higginbotham, someone who's built multi-million dollar incomes, somebody's built teams of over a hundred thousand people. And it, he really helped me from his leadership perspective, really just narrow in on helping a lot of you at the event dial in your message. Okay. And I know that for, for like people like Tyler and Jen, it's like breathing now. It's like so simple what they say to clients or potential prospects on Facebook or in person or wherever. It's like breathing, but weirdly enough for a lot of you, it's not. Uh, for, for a lot of you, you're still trying to figure out, A, what are you going to market? B, where are you going to send them? C, what are you going to say, right? It's no more, no more time for that. This industry is way too simple. Just, it's, time to just pick, it's time to just pick that and go. So we're, one of the things I'm going to make a little bit of a transition on this call is I, wanna, I want you to hear from other people. And I want, Kim and I want to uh, get out of the way. And I want you to hear the heartbeat of duplication, the heartbeat of breakthrough. And I'm going to, I didn't know if I was going to explain this, but I like to know why someone's doing something sometimes. So it makes sense for my time. This call that we're doing right now is not, it's something I stopped doing for some weird, dumb reason. This is probably one of the most important calls that I do that, that, that I promoted to build my team of 40,000 people. This call right here. And here's why, Wendy, with that incredibly interesting face that you just had. I love it. The reason why is because the number one thing that's elusive for most people in our industry 
is duplication because we, we just keep working. We keep getting customers. We keep getting en enrollments for reps or business builders, but we we're not really duplicatable. And the highest form of duplication is helping your new people get through the simplicity of strategic skills. And number two, what prevents them from just doing the simple strategic steps that it takes to build a business. And that's it. So learning what to do is about 10% of it. The, the, do this, say this, don't say that. That's really the simple part. But if it's so simple, why doesn't everybody do it? Because it's the, it's the 90% of you're overthinking it, you're over-talking, you're over-fearing, you're over-guilting, you're over, you're worried about what people, whatever. It's just on and on and on and on. So the events help people with skill set and so much more helps with the mindset. It helps them know that there's a whole bunch of people around them that are just like them. So this thing that I, this call that we're doing right now, I really wanted to switch a little bit of the gears and just have a bunch of people come up to share with you about, you know, the breakthrough that they had and what they learned, what they learned most or what the best thing they got out of the event um, for this last event. And then how you can, you don't want to miss the next one. And by the way, the announcement is this, February 28th. And, and I want to be, I want to be if, if we're wrong, Stephen, who works with us, said, no, there's a 29th day in February. Even Josh was making fun of me, even though I was wrong, because I was thinking it was 29, 30 days in February. But no, I, of course, it's 28 days in February, right? Y'all know that, right? I guess not. There's 29. Is that right, Jennifer? Thumbs up. 29 days in February, 2000. It's a leap year. Yes. Thank you, Ben. And Millie. Millie, of course, ben, Millie. Can't Millie and the, the Greens are all like <laughs> having a field day right now with, no, it's leap year. And y'all know what I mean by Greens now that you're, you're at the event, right, Heather? So it's fun when you know the personalities and you can make fun of each other and talk about each other and love it. So um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so February 28th, 29th, and the 1st of March, we are going to be in Dallas, Texas. And I've put the number down. I'm just going to speak it 500 people. I'm going to do whatever it takes to, uh, to do what I know how to do to fill the room with 500 people, not by myself, but by any means, of course, Tyler's referring people and he's a rocking leader. Jennifer and so many other people are going to be what? Oh, like oh, you decided to, I know we're like getting to the beside it. Man, you are distracting Tyler. <laughs> Tyler, you're on our big screen. Tyler, you're on our big screen. Oh, stop no. it. Stop. <laughs> stop. Or you're going to be blocked. Oh, my God. I'm just kidding. Um, so, okay. So, so it's, uh, so uh, the event's coming up. And so I'm going to, I want to do this. We're going to get out of the way. And then towards the end, actually, <clears throat> actually, let's just do it right now before I bring people up, just in case we run out of time. And I'm going to do one more call for all of you that were at Dallas. And and, and in the end, if anybody wants to maybe share after their story, we might have some time because I want to hear what the challenge that we had is what, number one, how are you going to invite people or connect? Where are you going to send them and what are you going to say? And, you know, what are, what are the basic process to enroll them? But basically, the most important thing is your invite. Like, what's your one or two minute or 30 seconds uh, invite? Thing that you're going to say to people on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. Okay. But before we do that, I would love to have a few people share the heartbeat of what they learned and what they liked most and what happened for them, the breakthrough they had in Dallas, Texas, the last one we just did this last weekend. So if you want to go first, just go ahead and unmute yourself and say me and you'll pop up automatically. Hey, <laughs> good job Wendy. going first, yes. Wendy Speedster. <laughs> okay. Uh, one of my big breakthroughs was towards the end, actually, when Josh said, if you just spent a couple of hours every day doing what you know you need to do, focused activity, you, you can be successful. And throughout the weekend, with all the tidbits of information that I gathered on doing things, and I'll admit, this whole Facebook and connecting with people, I'm green. That's all I can say. I'm green. So it's never been something I'm really good at building those relationships. But with Jen and Tyler and everybody there, I feel I have a method now. And I'm going to make sure that I spend my time focused on that. So I got done with work by 430. And 
I spent the time doing that and really tracking it. And so, yeah, it's just those little, little things that just connected enough of the dots that okay. we're going to rock this. Good job, Wendy. It was so, so good, good to see you there. You said you're on track for what, as far as your enrollment? Um, my, my plan is to average one enrollment a week. And I've been doing that since the middle of, what are we, October? The middle of September, I all of a sudden got, got on that roll. And so I want to continue that. And I want to rank up um, next month. Right on. So right on. Great job. And hey, just to, uh, I want to do a side tip for everybody that's on the call that was in Dallas. Do you remember the outline of how to share a story? Anybody remember that? That uh, We mm -hmm. went through it very fast, by the way. I want you to pull that up on your screen and just take a peek at it. Think about that as, as we're sharing. Every time you're sharing a story, that's a really good format to kind of share in order of, of kind of like whenever anybody asks you to share your story. And of course, you want to fill in your, your part of that story. Well, didn't follow that so well, did I? <laughs> you're awesome. And it's totally okay. It is totally okay. I'm so glad that I'm so glad you had a breakthrough. And the bottom line is you're enrolling people. And I know it's just the beginning, Wendy. Yep. We're so proud of you. And we're super Thanks. excited to see you. It's been really cool to see you break out of your shell and go live so much on your yep. Facebook. I'm doing the, I'm preparing for the first one tomorrow morning. All right. So good, Wendy. We're so proud of you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right. Who's All right. next? Let's have... I'll share mine. Or did someone else already jump up there? No, no. You, hey, you're there. You popped Hi, Heather. it. Say your name. Okay, and... so... Heather Rayley, uh, Round Rock, Texas. And Wendy, it was so nice meeting you. And you're awesome. And it, I don't know about you, but I felt like it was a safe place, mm -hmm. like to learn and get to know people. And that gives you a lot of confidence. Um, for me, I tend to over talk. So it was awesome to have somebody actually be able to, to rein me in. The meeting for me was, or, or the event for me, I'm so looking forward to February. Um, because I think that a lot of the stuff, I layer like an onion when I learn. So it takes sometimes a bit for me to get it pounded in my brain. Tyler's told me over and over, you talk too much, you talk too much. But I didn't really understand exactly what that meant. Um, and this weekend, it was unreal. I actually got to practice some of the scripting. Um, it felt completely awkward absolutely out of my comfort zone. I had the papers in front of me and I had practiced a little bit. So my intonation didn't sound like I'm read, reading something. Um, but for me, that whole self-development, regardless of what industry you're in, it doesn't matter what you're doing. When you're learning something like this, you're growing. And when you, you're getting out of that shell, you're growing in every aspect of your life. And, and the personalities, I was, I was checking in the list off for my kids and, and thinking how I'm going to interact with them differently. So for me, it wasn't just for my business. It was absolutely in every aspect of my life. Because I realized there are times when I'm talking to a green or yellow and they're like, enough already. Like, I'm done. I'm done with you. You're in my comfort zone. You're asking me too many questions that are personal. Um, so it really, sh it was able to shine a light on, a, on stuff that I really had not recognized before to such detail. So it was amazing. It's awesome. And hey, by the way, if anybody goes with your spouse ever to one of our events, be careful not to do too much of this, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. So this is the deal. That's why I married him because he totally puts up with me doing that. But I'm I'm calling him out. He's calling me out. I, he knows me so well. But what's so crazy is on the outgoing part, he's very much like that too. So both of us. The whole way home from Dallas, that whole drive, we never turned the radio on. We talked about everything from the, from the days of training from, I mean, Jen, Jen and Tyler's training was off the charts. Yes. You guys, um, when y'all were talking and, and Kim, there's so many times that I catch myself speaking negatively into my own life each and every day. I didn't realize how much I did it. I even called my son out on it today. Um, it just, it, it affects so many different areas. So aside from business, I'm, I'm going to double mine by the time we're in Dallas. So That's my right. enrollment needs to double by then. There's no reason it can't. Cause I remember the struggle when I first started 
in really not understanding and knowing what to do. And this is so duplicatable. I'll be able to train my people and lead them to you guys, obviously. And it says that I have internet connection and stable. So hopefully you can hear me. Sounds great. Um, but I'm going through my notes so that I can actually share with my team the people that weren't there. So by the time they get there to February, number one, they're not going to be bugging Jen and Tyler constantly all the time like I am. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just amazing. Everything was so simple, so duplicatable. And I've never in anything I've ever been involved in, I've never been taught so much information in two and a half days. It was just brilliant. Love it. So how many people are you bringing to February? Oh, uh, I'm going to bring as many as I can. And then Tyler knows when I say that, I'm always going to overshoot. I never, ever am able to get to the number that I say because I'm kind of super. You stop it, Tyler. I see you. I talk with my hands. Even though you're a little bitty thumbnail like you should be right now. Um, <laughs> Tell the friends. About, okay, so I'm going to say 15. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Yeah, very cool. Well, we know you can do it, Heather. And, and by you the way, I don't, I'm, I haven't announced it yet, but we're going to be definitely doing a VIP at this event, just for y'all know, but we're also doing, we're calling it a, a, either a super VIP or something called a leader five, where if you invite five people on your team personally, you get a special recognition and special gifts and seating. If you, if you refer 10 people, special, uh, special recognition and we're calling it a super, so we have this different things that we're going to be doing, recognition, prizes, giveaways, and a whole bunch of different badges, depending on how many people you enroll. So the more people that you enroll, the more fun, the more, we're, we're also doing a Friday before. So all of you can think of something to do in Dallas, Texas fun that is um, probably indoors, but, you know, some kind of like a, a luau, not a luau, a, a barbecue, Texas style barbecue or something like that. We're looking to do something the Friday before, and then there'll be invite based on how many people you refer. So we're doing it either like VIP. We're still working out the details, but just know there's going to be something like that. Is that a disapproval? Did you give me a disapproval like <laughs> bump there? Okay. Awesome. All right. Let's go with, um, is, how about Alicia? Alicia, are you there? Are you, I know she said you hit or miss with the kids. Yes, I'm here. Can good. you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yes. You, yes. <laughs> okay, good. Internet's not the best out here. Um, well, uh, long story short, um, I felt called to share, um, my company back in 2014 and uh, started plugging into trainings in 2016. Um, and every training, every, every event was just uh, pulling back more layers of what I needed to overcome, whether it be ego or fear or whatever. And to the new person, I would, I mean, for me, it was, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know that you have excuses. You don't know that you are fearful you don't know that you have this huge ego that you need to overcome and so just plugging into world changers and getting to whatever event that I could I'm finally to a place and it's all by the grace of God where I feel like I can do it and that's what this weekend was it was solidifying yes I can do this um I stepped out in faith and I bought the team pack and I expect to bring more five tickets to Dallas. Good job, Alicia. Mm -hmm. Right on. Oh, you and this are... is my wife right here. Her name's Johanna. Hi, Johanna, Johanna, can you say hi? Hey. Hi. hey. <laughs> <laughs> we can say since the time you've plugged in for us over the last couple of years, your transformation. Is you don't know me. Like. What did you say, Kim? I'm sorry. <laughs> you've been plugging to us over the past couple of years, watching your transformation. It's like seeing. Uh, the butterfly come out of the cocoon. It's been so beautiful. And you stood up so confidently. What'd you say? You said that you were a what? Your top rank. A, ear, no, an introvert. What was it? Oh. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. Here, I'm mute. I'm mute. Oh, there we go. No, go a, dis a dysfunctional <laughs> introvert. So dysfunctional introvert. Yes. 
So you, from a dysfunctional introvert, basically, you know, a lie, we're canceling you know, it out. Says, I will have five people there at the next event. So amazing and so proud of you for pressing into walking through the fear and doing it anyways. Yeah. So great job. Yeah, good so job. Proud of you. And as you can tell everybody, do you have like 400 kids hanging on y'all, <laughs> right? I mean, Heather's got a puppy. Tyler, uh, Jen's got a Tyler. I mean, everybody's got just, but we don't have all the, all the kids. Real life right there. Real life. Thank you so much for sharing. We're good. Yeah. I think we have you muted. And it's definitely by the grace of God, but you took action. Uh, there's a lot of people that have the grace of God. All of us have the grace of God, but you took action on it too. I'm trying to take my picture. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. okay. All right, Tyler or Jen? Or both of you at the same time. Either way. No, let's do Tyler or Jen and then. Did you on the other go? And by the it way, Tyler and Jen, not, they were time. there taking okay. notes. They were there with their team. They were there as participants, but they were also rocked the stage when it came yes. to their knowledge, their speaking, their leadership was off the charts. So yes. it was really, really amazing to have you guys there. People loved you guys there. Yeah, it was so much fun for us. I'll tell you, I, um, Tyler and I went up separately. He went up early and I came up Friday morning. And as soon as I got there, I could see just the energy in him from Thursday night, you know, getting together with everybody and Friday morning meeting with everybody. And so it made me even more excited to share the knowledge that we have. And we've been in this industry, well, Tyler's been in it longer than me, but probably about for me, seven years. And I've never been a part of a company before that has me this excited to share and then also have this training system that Tom and Kim have developed. And that it's the combination of both, right? You have this great opportunity. We all are with great companies and are excited about our products. But now when you have someone that is giving you feedback on how to do it simply, and, and I, I know most of you are like me, you have to have it simple. You're busy. You've got maybe another job or you have kids. And for us, we have three teenagers that we're chasing around constantly and animals and all that fun stuff. And so, um, you know, when life happens, it's that system. And that's what really hit home with me. It's, it's really building that system so that you can leverage your time. And so that, you know, you don't have to spend two hours or three hours doing something right. I can get it done in 45 minutes or 30 minutes a day. And so for me, that was my biggest takeaway is to stop making excuses and continue mm. to build in the system. And actually that's what I've been doing the last, really the last two months. It was a heart to heart that I had with Josh. He's been telling me it for a long time, but really and truly, um, Josh just said, I want you to do this. And it was, it was share, connect and roll. And in that step of connect, I just added the step of the three-way message and I had stopped doing that and believing that it would be effective. And for me, the three-way call and the three-way message has been huge in building my business. And so I got really, um, just, I have big belief in it because what happened is Josh, number one, when your CEO tells you to do something, you kind of go, I'm going to do it. Um, and, and he was asking me how it was going and was a part of what was going on. And so that was number one, but then I saw it blow up my business in the matter of weeks. And so it created that belief in, in the system and just continuing to do it and be consistent with it. And so if that's anything I can share with you, when you have people in your business that have been doing this longer, if you can connect them with those people, it leverages your time and allows your people that have a filter for you to not hear it from you, but to hear it from somebody else that you've conveyed as the expert. And so that's kind of what I did. I slowed my business down by trying to be the expert. And I do know the information. I can tell you, I've learned a lot in the last few years about what we're doing, but my friends don't want to hear me tell them anything. Okay? They get to see my results because I've shared my results, right? So they've seen and heard my story, which I've been, I've put out there and you need to definitely do that. But then I've passed them on to somebody else that's an expert in the company. And that allows people to really and truly hear it differently and be more open to ask questions and share because they just have a different filter for them because they're the experts. So that's what it, real quick, what I love about you, Jen, is that even though you're like literally one of the, the fastest growing teams in your company, but you're so hungry, like mm. to learn and to get better. Like it, anytime there's like, 
you know, there's tickets. You're, you're the first one in the back buying as many as you can or the next, you know, accountability course. You're like the first one there, which is what a leader does. And it just takes a lot for, you know, your hunger to get better and grow and really build, build something amazing. Yeah. It's, it's funny. What you did is exactly what I did with my mentor when she says, okay, the next event is going to be in Tampa, Florida, go back. And I was already running to the back because I wanted to show my, <laughs> I, I want, it, so that's, ex, I don't even, yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, so that's why, that's what leaders do. I think that was a huge message this weekend that came from everybody is that your business only grows as fast as you do. Mm-hmm. So if you, you're the, the biggest ingredient and in whether your business is successful. And so if I can be better, a better version of me and be bigger and have bigger belief, why wouldn't I invest in that? That investment in myself is not just going to grow my business, but it's going to grow everything about me. And so I, yeah, I'm a huge believer. I was not that before I met him. Um, I thought that I was awesome. Kind of like Tom <laughs> this weekend. I thought I had it. Like I was good. And um, I quickly it. learned that I had a lot of work to do on myself. That's, that is that is so funny you say that because I thought I was the bomb.com until I met my my la- my last mentor and I and I was we were we were looking at doing seminars all of us we were looking at doing seminars and I went to hers and I'm like oh no thanks you just do it <laughs> and that's when I just said I'm going to go back in the business and just start referring people even yeah yep. it's good man cool. that's good Jennifer sure. Tyler so, um, so mine, mine are probably a little different, uh, but kind of like even rolling off of what Tom was saying there, um, you know, there's things I definitely know that I'm really good at. And then there's things that I know that I need to work on. And then I'm honestly, I'm always hoping for that new thing that comes along and I go, Oh, I didn't notice that about myself. Right. Cause usually like I was trying to hammer for the few minutes that I was up there was, you know, in an hour, how many texts could you really send or messages could you really send? I mean, if you were fast, at least a hundred, right? Like copy, paste, switch a few words that makes it clear to that person that you're talking to them, not saying a mass text or whatever. So why don't people connect with more people? It's, it's always inside. It's always the, the problem from here to here. So, um, you know, I, I spent a lot of time self-reflecting during it too. Um, seeing like what I need to work on. And um, the one of the things I need to work on uh, is, is, is my patience. And, uh, you know, I really kind of thought it was getting good. Um, <laughs> but I, I think I knocked it down a couple of levels, the reality of what it really is. Uh, you know, I expect people to move along fast because I do figure things out pretty fast. And so like most people, we expect others to be like, you know, I expect Tom to be like me, right? And Tom's like, well, Tyler should be like me. That's like normal. We just expect it. It's human nature. Um, so like with my team and with the company, I, it really made me kind of take that step back that said, hey, you know, be even more patient with people understanding in their growth. Um, you know, be a little bit more empathetic than you are currently. Um, and then the other thing I would say is continually um, leading with self. Um, mm. You know, I had enrolled a lot of people fast and then was made VP. And then my, and it was at the same time, pretty much my, my, my team kind of took off. And so I stopped enrolling as much as I was trying to get everything balanced out. Um, and <clears throat> so, I, you know, I sit in there and I was like, man, I, I got to get back in there um, really showing everybody, Hey, you can, you can do, you can lead, you can do this and continue to pour people into the company. So um, I think I'd gotten a little comfortable in that area. Maybe I excused myself from, you know, Hey, I can just roll roll three or four people a month now at school. Um, But that would be a good use of who I am. So, you know, I was, I I wrote down my goals. I'd have to pull them out exactly what I wrote, but I, I believe I wrote, you know, enrolling 10 people a month minimum. Um, this month or November. And then, uh, you know, in February, I get an extra day, Tom. I don't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> I do now. <laughs> <laughs> so I got at least 11 in February. <laughs> so, I, but I see, do now. We all have an extra day in February. <laughs> right. No. So, but see, the way I look at my goals is like this. So um, I did 10, and then I did 13, and then it's 20. Because I should have, have people in the pipeline 
right. to close 20. Shoot, hang on. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. So if you don't like what I'm saying, Tom, just, you know, mute me. No, no, there was someone right <laughs> next to you. Al was unmuted. I was trying to mute Al. Sorry, Al. You're... That was kind of like the cane. No. Not we're tight. No, that's <laughs> not the cane. <laughs> just do one of these, man. No. <laughs> so, uh, keep going, please keep going, brother. Yeah, so good. You know, I've been just going off on my pipeline because in the first 90 days, I, I contacted 600 people. So my pipeline just keeps going. I keep having people reconnect with me. And I'm just doing, you know, hey, buddy, how you doing? Hopefully, you know, just doing normal, like, you know, friendship follow-up. And then they just, you know, come back to me. So now it's time for me to go do another, you know, 1,000 people. And oh. uh, go sign up, you know, another 300 people. So that that's right. I got to kick Josh's butt. So Come on, some of these two. So some of these two. So. <laughs> hey, another tip and something that I'm doing, if you feel like you've, connected or you've talked to all your warm market, <clears throat> what I'm doing um, is reaching out to my current customers that are having a good result and love the product and asking them to share their results on their um, Facebook wall and then tagging me in it. And so um, I've already asked three people today and um, one got back to me, the other two haven't got back to me yet, or I haven't checked my phone again, but she was like, absolutely, I'll work on getting that together and um, get that done for you. So now instead of just leveraging my network, I'm ne leveraging hers. And she's a big real estate agent in Austin. So I'm super excited to see, you know, kind of what interest that creates in our, you know, our product. Right. I want to give, I want to give one idea that I didn't talk about. And some people like it. Some people don't. However, people that have that big fear of it, talking to people that first time friends or not friends, when you have those moments that, I thought I heard the dog growl. <laughs> they fight, man. So you got to watch out if they growl. <laughs> you got to grab them quick. Um, so um, for me, you know, I was an introvert growing up. I was a bullied introvert. And, you know, people go, oh, Tyler's super outgoing. It is a daily choice for me. Like, it really is. I have to go, okay, let's go, day. Like, I have to take on the day. Or I'll just be quiet. I would read all day and, and be fine by myself. I really would. Um but so when I have those moments where I'm like charged up and like I'm seizing the day, I just keep going. I don't stop because when that energy is going for me, I mean, maybe I set aside two hours. I might bump someone off my list and say, sorry, I'm going to keep going because when I'm on a roll, just keep using that roll, you know, because not every day is someone when they set that hour aside able to get in that position um, emotionally and mentally. I, I use music a lot. Like I'll turn on a song or two, you know, usually it's like Rocky. I picture Tom running down the road. Um, but, you know, I, something that shifts my energy into that place of, you know, belief and, and inspiration and motivation, um, or, or I listen to a Ted talk or, you know, Art Williams or whoever. So those are things like we didn't talk much about because they're hard to overcome. Um, obviously the more personal development we do, I'm, I'm huge. I would just, I live in personal development. I love it. Um, but those are just some simple tricks. So maybe on the day that I'm not interested in really chasing people down, I use that for as much follow up as I can uh, and really, really follow up with people. So okay. just some thoughts. <clears throat> so good. It's really good. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Appreciate but, you sharing, buddy, on stage and with everybody and, and here, of mm -hmm. course, you too, Jen. So mm -hmm. good. And okay, let's go ahead and transition really fast. I want to make sure we get on and off pretty quick here. So we're going to, if, for those of you that are going to February at Dallas, the event, the, the way that one of the things, the breakthroughs that I had is the event starts now. And what we're going to start doing is this. I want you all to be at least at first base by the time we get there, which means I don't want you to wait to do something in February. Like a lot of people do, because what, what we're going to start training you on and doing training is how to find people, how to invite them and connect, how to share a message, how to do that three-way message. Maybe we can even get Jen and Tyler to share that because it was so powerful at our event. We could do an entire Zoom on that of how to do third-party validation. It's not the old school way of three-party calling. It's just tagging them. It's just so powerful to do that in Facebook, and she's really good at that. And then enroll them. So again, how to find people, how to invite people, how to share a message, how to do a three-way message and enroll them, as well as number five, duplicate, and through the whole process, follow up. So we're going to be doing a lot of training between now and then, 
for those of you for sure that are registered, because we want you to be already a little bit jogging. So we're all at at least base one, even your new people. So one of the things I realized at our event is even though I was speaking fast and I had, uh, there's still a lot more that, that I would like to get as the foundation for my new people, your new people, our new people, so you could duplicate your business much faster. Okay, that's, that's announcement number one. Number, well, number, so the, the next thing I want to share is this. We are launching, for those of you that want to be a lot more accountable, partner with Jen and Tyler and Alicia and Heather and Millie and Wendy and, and many of the top leaders, Josh and Miranda, um, many of the top leaders, we're doing a new series of World Changer 3. You can become a World Changer 3 as well as become part of the new priority year, which basically means a 12-week accountability and really showing you how to work your numbers ideally. Like what should you be doing daily? Going through the whole manual over the next 12 weeks and being live with us every week like this. And it's a, it's a higher level of leaders, a higher level of people that are not, not necessarily leaders, but people that are just committed to doing their best over the next 12 weeks. For sure, maximizing in the next 60 days, but for the rest of 2019 and then having all of January to really get in momentum. Um, if that is something you want to do, just type in WC3. And I'm telling you, the last thing, if you know you want to do it, don't even think about the money. I'm telling you, I will honor what we did at the event, which is ridiculous. It was way over half price. And if you have to make payments for a year, but you know you should be in it, I'll find a way. If you know, if you really in your gut, you know you want accountability, you want to know your numbers, you want to be a part of a group of people that are all coming together over the next 90 days, just type in WC3. Most of you are already in it that I'm looking at all your faces on Zoom. But if you know you want to be a part of it, just type in WC World Changer 3, okay? And I'll, and I'll have Kim text you some information on that right away, okay? That, that here's the most important thing of the night, okay? And I want to share my story. I'm going to share my story and show you how to frame how to invite people to Dallas, Texas, okay? And I'm going to share with you how I did it with Danny and how I got more people to Danny than any other team in the world for the first five years that I was promoting Danny, okay? So, um. By the way, my name is Tom Challen from San Diego, California. My wife and I just attended the Dallas, Texas event. And um, coming into that event, I'm thinking, oh, do I want to invest the time? Do I want to invest the money? Do I want to really, you know, go, go to that event? But after, you know, after being there, I know exactly, I got a game plan of knowing exactly what I need to do. So I am super confident coming home, knowing step by step, the actual strategic steps of exactly what I need to do. So all I know is if you want to take your business to the next level, cut six months off of your learning curve, I would do whatever it takes to get to Dallas, February 28th, 29th, <laughs> and the 1st of March. It's such an odd three days. Uh, do whatever it takes to get there. And oh, by the way, don't come alone. Okay. So anyways, that's just a quick way. And that was rough and raw. I could do that. I can get, I'll get better and better at that the way that I used to do it. But the, the key to telling your story is just be short, like what, what, you know, what was like before, what was like during, and then always a call to action to get people to, to the next event. We're going to be doing a lot more calls like this leading up to that, because this call that we're doing tonight with stories and tips and ideas, like from Tyler and Jen and so many people, we're going to be doing more segments, free, free calls like this, where you can invite people, invite your team members, let us help you do some of the heavy, heavy lifting in that third party validation to help you get your new people there because tra like who, who said it, Alicia, you know, it's like, like, and Tyler was even saying that Tyler's made a lot of money in this industry. Tyler's a leader. Tyler, no, Tyler knows how to build the business, but even he was saying, you know, how many, how many layers he was peeling back and all the different things that he was learning. And even me doing the event, even me, you know, being in the event, hearing other leaders and speakers, watching how Josh leads was eye opening for me. There's things that he was doing and how he serves and, how he was doing so many different things that I didn't know that I didn't know. So this next event, I'm going to make a promise and a guarantee. It's going to be our most simple, informative, well-organized, 
thought through content that I have ever done in over 26 years personally. I feel really confident we're at that tipping point where the last events over the last many years were amazing. Lots of breakthroughs and transformation throughout the whole industry. But I feel like this last one, this next one is going to literally be day one for, the, for what, what we're about to do in Ripple throughout the world with world changers in multiple different companies and multiple different leaders that are going to be at this event. I'm committed to having the best of the best leaders. And we are going to praise you like you are the biggest rock star in the world for the number one most valuable thing that you can do. And we're going to recognize you for it. And I haven't done this in a while, but recognize you for bringing people. Okay. So Jen bought multiple packs of people. Um, you guys write this website down, get your to between now and Saturday, the price is the, the, the price is only this for between now and Saturday. Okay. It's $147. There's no training that I know of. There's, there are free trainings out there, but trust me, it's not worth it when they're free because all they want to do is pitch you the whole entire three days you're there. Free doesn't mean free in, in our industry. Our, my goal for events is to make it, you know, of course, we got to share products and services and things that will transform your life. But my goal is to keep the prices lower and lower and lower. But you got to do your part and bring more and more people so we can cover at least the basics of those costs and be able to have the kind of production and all the different things that we're going to, we want to, we, the vision that we have for the next event that we're going to do. It's going to take a lot more people so we can keep the prices competitive and low as we possibly can. So the price is 147 bucks, but I'm telling you, I will promise you it's going up this Saturday. It's definitely going up this Saturday. So get your ticket for $147 and we, you'll see the time frame where the ticket prices go up and up and up because we want you to take advantage and get your team on it ASAP. Okay. So go to prioritynetworker.com. Someone can type that in the notes, prioritynetworker.com. Jennifer Wells, you are, yeah. Jennifer, you are, you are a world changer three. You already did it. Oh, well, yeah. I didn't know what you said if you wanted to do it. So I was like, ah, you're in. No, yes. you still want to do it. Still want to be it. You're yeah, so funny. Isn't it? See how coachable she is? Yeah. She did that in Dallas. So the world, so those of you that were in Dallas, the accountability program that we did is is what is the world changer. It automatically bumps you up to a world changer three and the prior year course. So you get both. Yes. You're in. You're in. You're good to go. All right. Any quick questions before we wrap up? Go ahead and unmute yourself and just share real quick. And then we're gonna not not training coaching. Not we're not we're not gonna spend any more time on coaching tonight. But if there's any things about the event or anything else really quickly that we missed, go ahead and Unmute yourself. Stephanie, Stephanie Oden, you better get yourself there, sister. Jen Dessa tells you, we need to see you. We need to see that you really exist, by the way. We're tired of looking at your pretty little picture for years and years and years and years. <laughs> We're not tired of it. We just want to see your face in person. Right, Kim? Exactly. And Andrea Johnson, come on. I know you couldn't make the last one. Totally kidding, Andrea. Totally kidding, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good to see you. You know, you know what's it's so amazing, you guys? Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Social media is so amazing. I literally have Jen Desatels, who is like my best friend and sister that I've never met, that we have been conversing for years. And it's just incredible the kind of relationships you can build on this platform. It's crazy. Yeah. And yeah. she's like, whatever you do, Kim, I'm all in. It's just that kind of, it's that, that's what you got to it's just amazing. So build relationships with people. Yes. And Jen, I can't wait to literally hug you. Okay, come on. You can have a, first si time, you can have a sister reunion later, honey. Moment here. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. All right. No questions. Let's get people on with their day, their night, their evening. Thank you so much for everybody sharing. And uh I really, I really love you guys. I really appreciate you. And Kim and I are outrageously committed to helping you accomplish your dreams and goals and your whys and your vision and your purpose. Um, and the first step is, let me, let me just say this for all of you. It's time to go. Many of you are still holding on to the past. It's time for you to start reaching your full potential 
and your team needs you to your team needs you to get leading by example. You need to be leading by example. Your spouse, if you're married, your friends, your relationships, your kids, they need you to step up because this industry is so simple. Yeah. It's just it's just it's just time to go do the simple things. All right. God bless you guys. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all in Dallas. All right. Make sure you register right now. Tell your team between now and Saturday, okay? PriorityNetworker.com and click the uh, – it's already updated right there. All right. God bless, guys. Sure. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. Yeah. Say, say goodbye, everybody. Don't just leave real quick. Julie Zarath, um, I see some Bye. secret agents. Put your video on if you don't mind real quick. Hi, Laura Lynn. Great to see you, Rebecca. It will work. It will work. It will work. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Julian, 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 all right. Bye-bye, everybody. Y'all can leave. We just got to There you are, you little secret agent. You, I saw you. Don't think you can hide from us. There you go, Laura. Hi, Laura. And Patsy, I saw you too. <laughs> We're just taking notes of everybody that asked to be a world changer threes. Tiana, if you're still here, you're definitely coming. We yes. miss you when you're not there. Millie, we love you. I love the richness of your home, Millie. It's so beautiful. It is beautiful. Thank you. It's like so old school, like old wood and looks beautiful. I guess. You got to give us a house tour one of these times. On... Yes. Well, come on over. <laughs> do it now. Do it now. Really? Seriously? Yeah, I have do it mess. right now. Yeah. <laughs> your whole family. I don't care if your husband's in like chilling. <laughs> Just kidding. No, yeah. I don't want him to. He's at the store right now. Did you get them all, honey? Yes. Take off Jennifer Wells. She's already in like Flynn. And so is Patsy. Of course you're Patsy. Patsy, you're world changer four, which means you got three, four, three, 95. Awesome. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Great to see you, Laura. Hi. <laughs> Let me see. You're going to give us a house tour too? What are those pictures there? I'm such a curious person. Oh, that I love that. I love the entryway there, little arches. It's a total. You, wait, are you in California, right? Where are you? Where, where are you at, Laura? Oh, me, Houston. Oh, Houston. You got like a Spanish, uh, Spanish look of home, right? Oh, it's like Mediterranean. Yeah, Mediterranean <laughs> Spanish kind yeah. of. Thing. You can tell with the arches. Sorry, it's my dog's in the background. I right, let me see. Let me see your dog. And by the way, you don't have to stick around anybody, but I just love to get, what are those little things? Hello. Ruff, 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 ruff. Meow. <laughs> I'm such a goof. All right, who else wants to give us a house tour? All right, bye-bye everybody. Bye. You guys, no one's biting. My house is too messy. I've been gone. Right. I'll give you guys, hey, have you guys seen, let me see if we got a, all you guys got to see the hot air balloons over, over San Diego right now. Hey, we're going to do a retreat here soon. There's our messy kitchen. My family's watching the World Series. Are they, uh, who's playing? Uh, hello, Houston Astros. <laughs> hey, is so that's where I'm going to beat Kim at ping pong, right, Kim? Wait, hello. The Sounders are playing. <laughs> the what? Five minutes. Sounders. Sounders. Wait, did someone? Did someone? Did someone tell me that the Houston Ast? Is some if if the Houston's win the World Series that there's some mattress guy? Yes, gallery furniture gives. So you have to buy the furniture before the series, and he gives. So then he gives away all the furniture you bought if the if they win. Now, how, what happens is it, now if he, what do you think is going to happen it, it, with that? He he did it when the um he did it that first year the Astros won two years ago. He gave everybody furniture that they had already bought like a week before the series. You so know what? Going out buying I, all this furniture and and then if they didn't win, then then obviously you pay for it. 
And, and if they won, then he would pay for it. And I wonder how many people are actually going to take him up on that. A lot. I actually knew like five people, like personally, that bought furniture. Because of that promotion. Their- it's a good marketing spin if it doesn't bite him, right? <laughs> he makes enough. So, he makes so much during the year that that's what he decided to do. That's crazy. Okay. Um, here's your view. Okay. Ben, Ben, if you don't come to Dallas, buddy, I'm coming to, I'm coming to get you, brother. I know where you live, just so you know. You can't hide, buddy. What are you going to tell me? Was that, was that you, Millie? I'm giving you a view of my oh, valley. My yeah. Gosh, look at that. And do you see the, are the goats over there? You know, you know what I like most about that view? What's that? I could see the reflection in your window of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did that to Kim one time many, many years ago. I said, oh my gosh, you got the most beautiful eyes in the world. Because I could see my reflection in them. Stay still. <laughs> oh, so bad. All right. I got to go to karate. <laughs> that's an incredible view. All right. Don't let me. Uh, just love hanging out with y'all. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.